Name me a country with insane house prices, high indebtedness, slowing growth, and a tendency to blame bad news on the weather. The UK? No. Try Australia. The place they call the lucky country entered the record books today, reporting its 103rd consecutive quarter of economic growth. But at 1.7%, the year-on-year -year rate was the slowest since the financial crisis. Now that was partly down to the weather. Big tropical storms affected Australia's iron ore exports. But policymakers will see past that, and they're not too worried about the moderation of the commodity boom either. That process has been underway for some time now. What is more concerning is that the Australian consumer is increasingly feeling the pinch. As this chart shows, wage growth in Australia has slowed to a crawl, and household indebtedness is among the highest in the world, largely because Australian house prices have risen so much. The result? Consumer spending is under pressure. Now that matters to Australian stocks. Its biggest companies outside the resources sector depend heavily on their domestic market. The 20 biggest non-resource companies in the ASX index, mainly banks, retailers and financial services groups, get four-fifths of their revenue from Australia. If consumers draw in their horns, these companies could face a tricky year. But Australia is a wealthy country with sensible policymakers, a AAA credit rating and space to cut rates further. Australian shares have delivered some of the best long-term total returns anywhere in the world. That luck is unlikely to run out altogether.